So we are back out here in the Hunter Classic once again for another trophy hunting video and as you can see behind me we've got a pretty good lodge going. I keep forgetting you can do this by the way, go into like the third person camera uh, in the lodge and I always forget to do it for the intros of these but yeah. Uh, I think we're doing pretty good today. We're out on Hirschfelden to try to add to our wall here. Uh, the Red Deer I would love to improve on. It's a 247 so it's not bad uh, but if we can get like a 260 plus that would be really great. Uh, I think, yeah, our Red Fox is the biggest thing I want to improve on today. This is only a 23.9, uh, but as I said in the past, I want to have uh, one of the Predators from each of the maps. So we have our Arctic Fox down here and the Grey Wolf, as you just saw, uh, over there. So that's the main ones. The Geese I'm pretty happy with. Maybe this uh, 8,076 we could top. And then just anything else we can get, a Roe Deer maybe, uh, or a Solid Wild Boar, but... Uh, I brought a couple of different weapons. I had to bring the 17 HMR with the HV ammo. It's just so much fun. So we're going to use that mainly for Red Fox uh, and the geese as well. I did bring the heavy recurve bow. I thought that'd be a decent change up. And then I have the 454 handgun for the bigger stuff. So let's head out. Uh, we're just down here at the lodge. I'm going to walk down through the fields down here uh, like this. And we'll see if we can get ourselves a few red deer and red fox. Going down like that, I'll probably go up to this stand as well, because that's pretty good for both of those species, and then we'll just go from there. And we've already got a monster stack here. I do think that might be a 260s. So i got to get prone here. Uh, and let's try to get him with the 454, because I think he's going to want to spook. 260 to 285. I just caught that score estimate. We are starting off with a bang on this episode. I... I'm so happy. Okay, let me just explain what happened, because I had his call uh, as I was walking down the road there, so I turned around and came back, and all these females uh, walked past me. I just couldn't figure out where this guy was, but look at the rack on that guy. What a beast. He literally called right beside the lodge. <laughs> what is that luck? Let's see what we got for a score on this beast. 269.980, so almost a 270, but definitely a monster and definitely one going to the lodge. What a way to start. I could not be happier with that. I'm so glad to be sending uh, a 260 plus red deer to the lodge. I thought that was one we might have trouble with because I haven't killed a lot of really good red deer here on Hirschfeld, and so it's nice to get that out of the way. Let's see if we can get that fox next. And we've just got a red deer female here. She's stopping at 18 meters. Let's try to get her with the heavy recurve, which... I kind of remember how to shoot. It's been a while, but I think we should need to aim about there. And hopefully that's going to be a single lung hit. I really need to relearn uh, some of these bows. Like the, the normal recurve, I don't think I'll ever forget. Uh, but I tend to not do as well with the heavy recurve and the longbow these days. But it looks like uh, that was, in fact, a single lung shot. So she shouldn't be going far. And here she is down in the field. By the way, I did have to reset my game. The game crashed. Uh, but at least we got the big red deer out of it, and then we get a new spawn, and we're sending a roe deer running apparently, but actually I'm not too concerned about that. It was just a left lung shot, so maybe it was the angle, or maybe it was just my shot placement, but, uh, I do definitely need to learn where, uh, to shoot with that heavy recurve if I'm going to be doing that a lot, uh, this hunt, but... We'll see if we can get anything else down here in these fields. So I've been sitting here trying to call in a red deer stag, and this guy just snuck up behind me. I think we can probably make this shot. That's a little more like it, and there is the other one, pretty much the same size. Uh, and we'll probably try to get him with the heavy recurve as well, just because there's probably other stuff in the area. So we'll let him get a little closer. As I said, I'm kind of after the red fox now. I want to get uh, that improved, and then maybe the goose as well. We'll stop by the goose blind, as we usually do uh, here in Hirschfeld, and at some point to look for rares or monsters. Uh, but I definitely wouldn't complain about a another monster red deer on the wall. So any red stag that I hear, I'm definitely going to call in, and this guy has spotted us. But it was too late for him. He is down, so let's grab these two stags and then move on and see if we can get uh, anything a little better than these guys. But we do have a 158 score for this guy. It was actually only a 10 meter shot. I'm surprised he got that close because I don't think this counts. Well, if I could get out the... How did I... Hmm. All right, let's not break things. Uh, wait. Oh, I guess I'm still wearing the Boone and Crockett. Uh, I thought I had the Fall Field camo on, so that's probably why he actually got that close. And for this guy, a 162 score, only a 14 meter shot, so at least getting close, I'm able to make the shots with that heavy recurve. So I've made it over here to the tree stand. We do have a fox here, 10 to 17 female. I want to get her dropped uh, in case there's any others in the area. I do have a lot of tracks around here, so maybe one of those is from a fox. Let's see if we can somehow line this up and not mess it up. And I messed it up, but I think 
That is, in fact, a body shot. The good thing about the fox is they don't go far, even with a body shot uh, from a bow. So we'll just sit here for a while, do some more calling, uh, and try to get anything else down to give that one time to expire. Unfortunately, nothing else at the stand. I'm kind of surprised by that. It's usually a really good spot, but we do have our fox here, and you can see he didn't go very far, or she didn't go very far. It's actually still on the hunter mate where we shot her. And as expected, it was just a little bit low. A left front leg shot, still a 14.6 scoring fox, though. That's actually, could be a big pheasant. I can't see its tail. 23 to 29, though, is a good bet. Let's actually load these normal 17 HMR bullets. I'm not too worried about making extra noise here. So let's just pop him with that. There. Ah, that's nice of him to just fly to my feet. Ah, his tail doesn't look that big. I think he just had a high score estimate. Mm, maybe it's not too bad. I don't know. Not bad at all. 26. Not one worth mounting, I don't think, over an 8,000 goose. And by the way, I just visited the goose blind and there was, like, nothing there. So we're going to do another round and go back and see if we get better luck that time. I feel like we're really not even that far into this video. This is just a ton of me walking around and seeing nothing. Uh, but I switched from the heavy recurve to the 10 point crossbow just because uh, I was ignoring a lot of animals to avoid not, or to avoid like tracking them if I made a, a not so great shot with the recurve because I just wasn't feeling it uh, with the aiming. So I grabbed this. I thought we'd at least be able to kill a few more animals that way. Uh, and for the rest of the hunt, I'll be using that. Uh, and then, of course, the two guns that I still have on me. I just spotted what I think might be a wall hanger of a road here. He's not an absolute giant, uh, but he does look quite good. He's over here in the brush. You can see one of his antlers there. Uh, he might make 200, 165 to 220, and he's been walking uh, for quite a while. And his bases are nearly touching. He's going to be very, very close, in my opinion. Uh, and I'm somewhat glad that I grabbed the crossbow now. I think that's going to be... Uh, rather nice to actually have with me. So we are at 30 meters there. And we'll just see if he is going to want to stop. Actually, he's even trotting in. That's going to make life a lot easier because he'll gain a lot of distance uh, without actually becoming spooked. And I did call from up there. So I hope that I called from a place where uh, he's going to be in the open. And I think we're going to be good now. And he is down right there. So I'm going to say, with the current state of our trophy lodge, probably 185 is the number I have to see on this road here to actually mount him. So let's see what we have. And it is a 180.5. So I think we'll take a trophy shot. I'm not sure if we'll mount him yet. Let's wait till the end of the hunt uh, and see, because I'm not sure how many small plaques we actually have. I know we have got a couple of uh, white rhyme ridge animals mounted there and timber gold as well. So we'll see. Not looking too bad. And I've got to say, I love the solemn trophy pose uh, with the crossbow. I think that looks really, really good. And definitely not a bad buck either. 180 is a pretty solid road here. The best I've had in months, to be honest. So I've just had a call from a pheasant, and then I got his track, and it was 2.2 to 3 kilograms. And I'm not really sure. Those are all females. I should probably walk out with my 17, because if he decides to fly, uh, that's going to be a bit of an issue. we got a goose over there. We're somewhat near the goose blinds again. Uh, I was planning on coming back. And then had that pheasant here in this field somewhere. So we'll get the 17 back. I think it was over here, like, towards this hill. And I'm guessing that's why I can't uh, actually see him at the moment. So either he should flush. Oh, that might be him right there, actually. Uh, the other option is he would do this and lay down. And I'm hoping this is going to be the one. Uh, oh, that's a big tail. I just saw the outline for a second. What do we have for a score? 25 to 30. Let's go ahead and drop him there. Wow. I... <laughs> I... I don't know about the animation where they do that off the ground. That's a little bit strange, but it seems like it's not always. I don't know if that's a bug or if it's some kind of factor that causes it, but it's weird when they shoot forward when they get shot on the ground like that. But let's see. Is this guy actually worth mounting? He's got a pretty good tail on him. Uh, it's only just another 26. He looked really good there uh, laying in the grass, but not too bad for sure. So I'm just getting here to the goose blinds, and we actually have a somewhat decent one here. He might be big enough uh, to actually replace what we have, and I'm not sure if we're far enough away... Uh, to actually not spook the others, but I've got the HVMO loaded. Let's see if we can get this guy down, and hopefully the others are going to hang out still, because we're kind of far away. Alright, he's down, and even the close one stayed. That's actually somewhat impressive uh, for the 17, and I forgot to grab the new spotting scope, so I'm kind of a little bit at a disadvantage for that. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. The weight's low. The score's actually really high on him, uh, going up to 86.50, but we'll spot the rest here, see if there's anything else. Uh, that we need to shoot right away, and then we'll probably just try to get 
what we can out of this. Actually, though, I think I probably should just go ahead and drop this closer one now that we've given the others uh, a chance to calm down from that last shot. Um, just so we can move in a little bit closer uh, and get a better look at what's there. There could even be some stuff a little bit hidden by the hill, so we'll probably just crawl, uh, get in there a little closer. I might even just go straight to the blinds. Uh, we'll have to see. And we are almost to that first goose that we dropped that I think... Uh, yeah, it was the bigger of the two, but I'm actually somewhat disappointed with the amount of geese uh, that we've had here. I don't know if something's changed or if I'm just getting extremely unlucky uh, with the amount of geese that are actually landed at the time that I come in, but usually there's like 30 or 40, and this time I'm getting like 10. Uh, but this one was on the lower end, just a 7700, so not going to top what we have there. I think it's like 8062 or something like that uh, that we need to top, and I, I said it I think in the first video. Uh, I'm actually satisfied with that if we don't get anything better, like a rare or a huge pheasant uh, to throw in its place, but I would love to get like another 8500 plus. I think the one we have is 86 um, on the left side. That's the one that's probably going to stay for sure, but I'm definitely glad to get that red deer out of the way this hunt, and hopefully we can get the red fox as well, but this has been a very, very slow hunt. Uh, in terms of just finding animals, other than starting out with that red deer, it's been so much walking and just looking for uh, tracks and hoping to hear an animal call. I've not had as much luck here as I would want, but at the end of the day, that is going to happen, and I'm just glad that we actually have uh, that red deer and maybe the roe deer to throw on the wall. But the more I think about it, uh, I'm not sure the roe deer is going to be worth it because we have Timbergold Trails uh, for the bighorn and mule deer. It's probably going to end up being taken off anyway. Uh, but let's see what we got for this goose. We're going to hop in the blinds then and spot the rest. Actually, this one's somewhat decent as well. 75-57 on the total score. Well, geese are leaving, and there's nothing actually here uh, that's going to top what we have. So we'll see if we can drop a few more. Not like that. That had to be close. Okay, come on. How am I missing this? There we go. And maybe one more if we're lucky. Uh, like I said, there's nothing big here anyway. Oh, that was a decent one shot. Do we have any more? There's a couple here. That was probably close. There we go. And one going straight away might be doable. Yeah! Guys, the 17 for geese and ducks when they're flying away is insane. Uh, the reason it's so much better than the 22 is basically that uh, the bullet drop is not there, so you don't have to worry about trying to gauge that. It's all about uh, just putting the lead on them. So we'll see if these break. Uh, all right. Uh, they broke. I don't have my call, so we'll just spot these. Uh, and to be quite honest, if there's nothing big here, I might not actually bother shooting, or maybe... Oh, this one looks big. Uh, actually, it is not, but I might just start shooting here uh, in a second, because I don't see anything that is actually that worth it, so... We'll let them circle back and just go for it. Get a few more kills and then move on. I wasn't going to shoot them, but why not? How did that... Wow. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have, because apparently I'm just bad. Wow. Okay. There we go. Somehow missing geese that are literally side by side. One more shot. Let's get my breath back. And still missed it. Alright, we'll reload like two. Try again on that one and then claim everything we got here. Uh, there's nothing big. I'm probably not actually going to show the scores of that. There we go. Last shot. Got that one. Yeah, I'm not going to show the scores of these. That's just going to be boring me picking up a bunch of geese. Uh, so, I think... We'll probably go back down to the south and see if there's any foxes down there. Hunt around for another, like, 30 minutes or so, and then probably call it a hunt. I've been out here for a while now. I just realized I've been ignoring foxes when they're somewhat far away. I have the 17 HMR for this. Uh, I should just be killing those. I hope we're going to get to see it, and I think we might just... When it passes that brush... I don't even know if we got it. I do see it running off, actually, so I'd say... We didn't get a perfect hit, but that was with the HVMO. I had to just check for a second. Uh, if we hit him, I would say he's going to be down somewhere. I have completely lost the tracks of that fox that we shot. Uh, I think we must have hit in like the head or the neck or something, because it's definitely not dying, and I just don't know where it went, so we're going to move on. I really had higher hopes for this guy. Uh, 82-130, definitely not one that's going to be going on the wall, but he is trotting in, so we'll have to shoot him with the crossbow just because he's coming into the call, and he's probably closing in... Uh, on the 15 meter mark already, so let's just see how close it will get. I bet it'll be very... Hi there! If you guys don't know, when animals are moving, they pretty much cannot spook uh, unless they're literally right on top of you, so when they're trotting in like that or with a deer uh, walking in, you can wait until they stop to actually take your shot and they will not spook. As you can see, literally two meters away, uh, just laying out of here in the open, and I'm not fully camouflaged. 
uh, I think I've got like half of the boot and Crockett uh, and yeah that is exactly what I have half deer camouflage and I got him that close we do finally have another fox down here in the south but he's definitely nothing special he is walking but 15 to 22 score uh, he is not gonna beat what we have so we might as well just take him with the 17 uh, as he walks in and not waste any more time so let's try to get uh, lined up on that that should probably be a heart shot or at least close to it uh, and he is down so I want to try to find one more uh, whether that's a fox or whatever we run into uh, but we are getting into the late stages of this hunt I started at 7 so we're past the 2 hour mark uh, actually well beyond the 2 hour mark now and really only that red deer to show for it the roe deer was nice we had a couple of decent sized pheasants and one solid goose but uh, just not quite what I was hoping for in terms of uh, the fox hunting which is actually kind of the main thing I was after after the red deer hit the ground but it was indeed a heart shot at 73.4 meters, 18 score on that guy. We've actually managed to bring in another one to the same spot. It is just a female, unfortunately. Uh, 14 to 21 score estimates, so I think we'll try to drop that there. Uh, and then head back to the lodge and see what we've got. Uh, because this has been a very long hunt. Unfortunately, not a lot of trophies this time, but of course that is uh, gonna happen. I still cannot complain about that 269 red deer starting out. Uh, like I said, that was one that I was a little bit afraid we wouldn't actually manage to get. Uh, for this particular lodge because on Hirschfelden I just have not had the luck with big red deer that's probably my second biggest one ever uh, on this map and that's not actually that big I've had a lot of 270 plus uh, on Valdebois so I'm pretty glad to get that and we'll have to see about the road here I want to see what uh, we've got mounted at the lodge at the moment but let's get our red fox and then do that this was the one that I shot earlier and couldn't find wow 21 minutes I thought a HV round to the body would actually drop a fox. I lost its tracks, uh, and I just cannot believe we just... <laughs> that's insane. I didn't even think of that. So we've made it back here to the trophy lodge, and I think the only thing we're going to end up mounting from the hunt was the 269 Red Deer, and I'm really happy with the way he looks on the mantle there. Uh, it looks pretty good to me. I'm going to leave the 247 there for now. I hope to have him uh, as either one of the side animals, like one of the bison over here, or replace entirely with something bigger but for now I'm gonna leave him there because I like this guy up on the mantle so uh, with the mule deer bighorn sheep and the doll sheep plus the sitka deer on the wall already I don't think the road deer is gonna be worth mounting because I'm pretty sure uh, that we'll end up replacing that at some point but I think next week is gonna be uh, timber gold trails uh, and we'll see if we can top our elk and probably go for bighorn again and hopefully get something better than our kind of pathetic 153 so with that thank you guys for watching this video hope you enjoyed it Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.